Hi, I'm Vonna, the Twisted Stitcher, and today I'm going to share with you how I make my project envelopes. So let's get so started. I made a pattern out of um, poster board. So that's a little bit, you know, better, a little bit firmer, stronger. And then I bound the edges in a clear plastic tape, and I think you can see the, the light reflecting on the tape, all the way around. The dimensions of this, it's simple. It's just basically a rectangle, and then I took a bowl or like a cup, and I put it on the corner and rounded and cut and drew, traced around it, and then cut them because I like the, the edges to be round. But, I mean, in reality, you don't have to have round edges. You can have square edges if that's easier to you. Um, the dimensions of mine are um four i think it's 14 it's 14 inches and let's see it is it is about 31 inches long so 14 by 31 is what my project bags pattern is you can make yours to whatever you want so you have your pattern you lay it on your material um you'll have two different fabrics one for the inside and one for the outside okay so what I do is I lay it down and I cut out my fabrics and I've already got them cut out these are the fabrics that I'm using I cut out one for the inside this will be the inside and this will be the outside now then if your your fabric has a pattern to it okay You've got to think about how you're going to cut them so that when you're, you have your, envelope, your project envelope and it come, folds over, you want that fabric to be all the same. You know, you don't want to be upside down. So you've got to think about how you're, you're cutting them. On this, there is no pattern. It's just all one piece of fabric, you know, one same ditzy type pattern, calico. You cut it, okay? On this one that does have a pattern you know you can see this is upside down but how you're going to sew this is this is going to be the insert place and this is going to fold over and so you can see that that is right side up <laughs> it, it's not upside down in the fabric envelope and it will be upside down on the back but who looks at the back you what you're going to look at the most is the front side of it so when you cut it you actually will be cutting it upside down if you think about it you know because you're looking at it like this and you think oh that's upside down i want to cut it the other way no you don't because what happens is when you flip and you sew them all together this will actually be the right side up all right so you have your two pieces of material cut okay you're going to put the right sides together right and that's how we'll sew it but before we sew it the pattern or the the project envelope has just a little bit of batting in the middle of it to give it some substance and to make it a little bit more rigid and a little more sturdy and i'm giving you my secret here um this is fusible fleece. Let me get the bolt so that I can share with you what to purchase. If you go purchase it at Joann's, I get mine at Joann's. And here is the bolt. It is TP971F. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, is I always fuse my fusible fleece to the inside of what the inside of the fabric bag is going to be. So how you do that is I'm going to put the sticky side down on the wrong side of the material. The right side is going to be on the outside. The wrong side is and the gluey part is going to be together. Let me go iron this on and I'll be right back. I'm back. I have my fusible fleece ironed onto my inside of the fabric fabric and here's my outside i have ironed that so that the um 
the wrinkles are out, okay? So let's think about when we sew. When we sew, we put the right sides together. So I'm going to match the right sides. Get everything straight and together perfectly. And then I pin. All right. So, I've got it pinned together. The right sides are together. So it's ugly side, then pretty sides on the inside, and then fusible fleece on the outside. Pinned all together, okay? We're gonna go sew this. So let me get set up over at my sewing machine. Just a moment. All right, here we are at the sewing machine. I have my thread loaded up in a navy blue, and I'm going to begin. So here's the edge of my sewing project envelope. And I'm going to start right here. We're going to go about um, an eighth of an inch sewing margin for this first outside, this first sew around. So we're going to leave this end completely open. And we're going to have an eighth of an inch sewing margin. All right, and you just sew. You wanna go back to lock it and then sew all the way around. So now what are we gonna do? We are going to turn this inside out because we have not sewn the bottom, the straight edge. We're gonna turn it inside out. So you go in, you grab the bottom and you turn it inside out, okay? Okay, here we go. So you can kind of see that it's taking shape. What I do at this point is, is I go iron it. So give me just a minute while I iron and I'll be right back. All right, here we are at my um, ironing board, and I just wanted you to show you how nice it is once I've ironed it. It lays all flat. The seam is a little bulky because it has a little bit of extra fleece that we've sewn in, but it's not bad. And when you iron it, that gets flatter and flatter. I iron just with a little bit of steam, not much. Okay, so that's how it looks after you've ironed, after you've sewn and turned it out, okay? Now we're going to discuss what's going to end up being the seam on the, on the end here. All I do is <clears throat> I take the end, well, first you got to trim your, your long uh, threads that your tails from sewing, throw those away, and then I take about an inch and fold it in just like this, okay? Now you're gonna take some time to make this even because it's bulky on the one side where um, the fleece is doubled up. So you want to take some time to make that, that edge straight, right? Okay, once, and then I'll always lay it out to make sure that it looks like it's straight. And I think it is. Okay, so once you have the edge straight, you're going to iron it. Okay, so you're ironing that flat. If it, you see that there, it's getting uneven, you just stop, push it in a little bit more, fold it under, iron it again, all right? Okay, so here we go. We've got our edge folded over. It's going to be nice and neat. Now let's go back to the sewing machine. Okay, here we're at the sewing machine, and I try to pin just a couple of areas of where I'm going to sew to keep that material together because it's kind of want, going to want to bunch and get uneven because the fleece is kind of thick here, okay? So I just put a couple of pins and we're going to do a straight across seam 
along that edge. And I do a fourth of an inch seam on this one. You want to start in just a little bit from the very end. Sink your needle. And then I'm going to go forward and then all the way back to the end to lock it and then back forward again. Okay, all the way across, straight across. A fourth of an inch seam allowance. And then when we get to the end, we're going to go all the way off the edge and then put it in reverse and go straight back and then off the edge again to lock those seams. All right. All right. We're going to trim our threads, thread tails. I'm just going to fold it and I'm going to check. It needs to be a little bit more to be 11 inches. Okay. And I check see and that's just a little bit too much let's see perfect okay so you know that this is an 11 inch pocket right here so I go ahead and I stick a couple of um, needles in pins I'm sorry pins and I'm trying to make sure that that you want this all to stay you know straight the, the ends to the sides to be perfect <clears throat> okay so I got that side pinned now I'm gonna pin the other side again you're wanting to make sure that this is straight because you don't even want any wonky you know edges again my edges are together I'm going to pin it and I'm going to pin it. Okay. All right. Now we're going to do our completing stitch, which is going to make this our bag. And what I'll do is, is you're going to have it upside down. I'm going to start on this. It's going to be about an eighth of an inch in, and then you're going to press your presser foot down along that edge. We're going to have about, oh, maybe a little greater than a fourth of an inch seam all the way around. So we're going to sew this around. You're going to sink your needle, start sewing, go back, and then go all the way to against the end, and then back. Okay. leaving about an eighth of an inch right along that edge. When you get to the place where it crosses here, where your envelope, um, where the opening is, you're going to go just to the edge of that envelope opening and then you're going to go in reverse because you want that extra sturdy go in reverse again so that that doesn't tear with all the frequent ins and outs just follow the top edge of your presser foot is following right along that seam that we already made and turned out. Okay, when we come to this, we have to catch this, so you kind of want to stop and gather your um, wits about you. <laughs> and you'll go right up to the place where it crosses, the opening begins and you're going to go in about a fourth of an inch hit the reverse go back reverse top stitch and then right back across that adds extra strength 
And since that's going to be an in and out, in and out, because you're going to be putting things in and out, that gives extra strength and durability to your project envelope. Okay, you're going to come off the end and then hit reverse, go back two or three stitches and then back to the end. Okay, there we go. You can see we've got that's one end, that's one end. The outside is all sewn around. Okay, now then what we do is we're going to add our Velcro. But before we do that, I'm going to trim my tail threads, which will be back at the end on both sides. And I'm going to add my Velcro. Let me get that set up on the um, ironing board and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Um, we're at the uh, ironing board. And this is what I use for my Velcro. It's called, um, what is it called? Fabric Fusion. It's a heat and bond. So it has some glue on it. And I both glue it onto my pro project envelopes and also sew around them for extra durability. So, how I do this is I just try to figure out exactly where I want my Velcro to be. I like it very close, about an eighth of an inch away, in the center of my, the top of my envelope, and then um, I'll show you how you get it on this side. So, you take off the part that reveals the sticky, and... I get my ruler and these are about 13 inches wide so we're gonna go about let's see about right there is the center these um, are about two inches wide I cut all my and what I do is since I make a lot of these I cut them all two inches wide and just shove them in there so they're ready to pop out whenever I in making project envelopes okay so you center it on your project envelope and then I flip it over and you hold it without steam on the top end okay it we're back it has been one and a half minutes and I've gotten this bonded on now I'm going to take the sticky side off of this other part of the Velcro and I put it lightly on there and then I fold it over the way it's going to close for my fabric envelope and you want kind of want to run your hand up there to keep that flat so it doesn't bulk up and it lands at the right place. And then once it's there I put my fingernails right against the the fabric that I, the Velcro that's going to be on the fabric and I pull it apart and there you go. Right there. So now I put my iron right inside and I gently move it back and forth for another one minute and 30 seconds to bond this side. I'll be right back to show you the next step. All right, we're back. So I have both sides bonded, this one and this one. I also sew around them just to give them added strength and durability and how that will just go right along one eighth of an inch seam all the way around, okay? Sink your needle. Wait a minute. You wanna go, you wanna start about an eighth of an inch from the end so that it's a perfect square. Okay, sink your needle, you go. I take one reverse stitch to lock and then you go all the way around. And then you meet back up with that corner and 
then reverse, go a couple of stitches, and then back to lock, and pull it. And you can see there is the sewn in. I'm going to clean my threads, cut the, clip the dirty, the flyaways, and then we're going to do it for this one. Okay, same thing. You fold that down so it's not so bulky. Slide it underneath. Start in approximately an eighth of an inch from the edge, eighth of an inch from the side. Turn, leave your needle sunk, turn. Leave your needle sunk, turn. And then you're going to meet the other side. Back stitch a couple stitches to lock and then back and pull. Clean your threads on the inside too so you can see them and there you have a completed project envelope there you go Fabulous, huh? So, there's my gift to you. Happy Easter. I hope you enjoy. Get out there and start making project envelopes. So, I'm Vonna, the Twisted Stitcher. Until next time, bye-bye.